Good evening, Logan. Yes, we were here this evening to get the video of this young girl wandering, running alongside the U.S.-Mexico border. And border agents tell us the young five-year-old girl tells them that a man took them to this place, which is the border wall, and left her there to run, and her seven-year-old cousin got to stay behind. U.S. Border Patrol surveillance cameras showing a young girl running into the U.S. from Mexico Monday morning with no bag or belongings, just wearing her clothes and shoes. Shortly after, the young child made her way north into the United States and began wandering around the secondary border wall and uh, adjacent to the Tijuana River Channel. Agents responded uh, immediately and were able to remove the child from the dangerous area. Border Patrol agent Juan Torres tells KUSI News she was dropped off by an unknown man near the end of the border wall near San Isidro. Agents were able to determine that she was a citizen of Guatemala and was five years old. Uh, she was brought back to a local Border Patrol station for processing and was also screened by our medical staff, which determined that she was in good health. Um, notifications were made to the Mexican and Guatemalan consulate, along with Health and Human Services. Uh, through debriefing, uh, the child was able to let us know that uh, her seven-year-old uh, cousin stayed in Mexico with an unknown individual. Moving forward, Health and Human Services will look into placement while Border Patrol officials investigate. Everything about this is unlawful and leaving a child is a criminal act. Immigration attorney Esther Valdez Clayton responds to this ongoing issue. We don't know at the level of psychological harm, even though the Border Patrol is stating that the child is otherwise healthy. The psychological trauma of being abandoned, not just by your parents, but being left alone in the care of an unknown, unrelated male. This is astounding and this is the type of criminality that needs to end. But it's happening so often at the border and it's underreported. If she is placed in immigration proceedings, she'll most likely have to present either an asylum case before USCIS as an unaccompanied child, in which case she's offered refuge as having been abandoned and or other forms of asylum relief that she may qualify for, being the victim of a crime, having been trafficked, we don't know because she's so small. Officials hoping relatives will come forward. We just want to advocate that. Do not send your unaccompanied children to the border by themselves to cross uh, and entrust their lives and their safety uh, in the hands of others, uh, especially, especially uh, the criminal smuggling organizations that are involved with smuggling these people across. And on your screen, there is a message from San Diego border officials saying to report suspicious activity to the U.S. Border Patrol. Contact the San Diego sector at 619-498-9900. And we will have this full report at KUSI.com. Reporting tonight in Chula Vista, Teresa Sardina, KUSI News. Well, your heart just goes out to the little girl. You hope everything's going to be all right. It sounds to me like, Teresa, she's there at that Border Patrol station. Do we know? when Health and Human Services is expected to get placement for her, and what is that process like? Yes, I was talking to the immigration attorney and also border officials, and they say this is a process. It takes time. In the standard process, once the unaccompanied children, for example, like this one, the five-year-old, she is going to be staying here at a border station. Uh, we're not sure which one, but the process is once they are going from the border patrol station, then Health and Human Services will care for them. They also work with the Office of Refugee Resettlement, and they also find housing for them as well. But in recent cases, when there's unaccompanied children, they go to the convention center. But in this case, it's most likely that this child will be going into a foster system or have a sponsor. But we'll continue to update you as more information becomes available. Logan. All right, Teresa Sardina for us. Thanks, Teresa.